Hello and welcome. This is Sal Sumnus here with SS Multimedia. Today we're going to be talking about polygons. Alright, so let's go over our objective. So our objective is understanding what a polygon is and the basic types of them. Okay, so we all know what understanding is. And I can't exactly explain what a polygon is now because then I'll be explaining the lesson, right? Because the lesson is literally called polygons. So we're just going to explain basic types. So, of course, basic means simple, right? So, of course, if you've done a little research before going into this lesson, you probably know that a polygon is kind of like a shape, right? It's not exactly a shape because there are some differences from a shape and a polygon, but basic types would not mean calling this a square or this a rectangle no we would be calling both of these figures a quadrilateral so it would be a lot more wide range a lot more simple we won't be going too deep into it that being said let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna start off with this let's go with what is a polygon okay a polygon a closed uh figure a closed figure, that's one way to describe it, right? So, is this a polygon? I'm just going to ask you a quick question. Is this a polygon? Or, is this a polygon? This one would be a polygon. Why? Because it's not a closed figure, meaning there's an opening there. And I want you to imagine that there's a fly. You don't want to let the fly in, right? So, you keep it closed. The fly can't come in, it bounces back, right? So you don't want to get you don't want to get a fly inside your body, do you? So you gotta close it. If you have it like this, right? Obviously, this um, that's actually a bad example. I'll explain why in a second. But let's say you have this shape. Okay. Now, is this a closed figure? Well, there's an opening right there, right? So that fly can just come in, right? That won't be good. But if we do the same thing, well, not the same thing because I'm drawing it, it's not the exact same, but if we do something like that, now this would be a polygon. Okay? Another way to describe it, it would be a, ah, why am I using blue? It was green for this. It would be not rounded. Right? So, if, if you have the shape here, okay, let's, let's do something simple. So we already know that it can't be open figures. So let's not go ahead and deal with these open figures, something like this, right? No, we know that it can't be, right? That was good. It. So what we're going to do, we are going to check. So and one shape, this is the difference between shapes and polygons. This is where you're going to see that. Shapes, it's, right, this would be a shape. I'm sure you've all seen that. That is a very bad drawing of it. So I'm going to try again. There. I'm sure you've all seen that shape. Okay. I'm like absolutely positive. It's a circle. Right. Everybody knows a circle. But what if I told you that this, not a polygon. Why? Because it is rounded. A polygon has to be not rounded. So if I have a shape like this, it's not a polygon. It's a shape, but not a polygon. If I have something like this, Polygon because not rounded, not curved. Right? I guess the better word would here would be not curved. Right in parentheses there. Okay? And now, one of the last ones is it has to be 2D. 2D, right? Is a plane. Okay? No, I do not mean that we're going to take a jet and just fly away. No, we're not going to just take our jet and fly away. Neither do I mean you're going to make a pair of airplane. What I mean is that it has to be two-dimensional. So if I have this, right, that looks 3D. It looks like a block. Like all this stuff here. It, actually, cubes are very easy to draw. That's why I'm showing cubes only. But draw a pretty big one. Okay, I might cut into the rest of the stuff, but that's okay. Okay, that's 2D. Right? That, that's not 2D. That's 3D because it looks like you can actually pick it up. A plane, as you can see, it would have the front part of it. 
right? But it won't have, let me just draw that in dotted lines, it won't have this part, right? It won't have the part that makes it look 3D. It won't have that. It'll have just this part. Okay, that is 2D, a plane. So if you remember from fourth grade, we learned that a plane is a two-dimensional flat surface. So I guess flat is another word, okay? So flat. Okay, so I want you to imagine like uh, some toys that we have, like a building block. You have a building block right here. Can you pick up a building block? Right, without like trying to get underneath it and blow the wind or something like that. No, right? It's you can't pick it up. But you know, I'm not no, <laughs> you can pick up you can pick a cube up, it's kinda easy. But you have to imagine that it looks like paper. If you if you have like this sheet of paper here, obviously I'm on a sheet of paper right now, but say we have our sheet of paper right here. This is our sheet. Right? This is a plane because it's flat. So flat is one way to describe what we're going to do. As a quick summary, a polygon is a closed figure that is not curved, and it is a plane, or it is flat, two-dimensional. That's a quick summary. Now, of course, that's just one part. We need to talk about what the different types of them. We're not just going to call this, okay, it's a polygon. That's it. what we'll call it today. This would be a... Polygon, let's call it a day, right? And actually I'm realizing, now I'm talking about this, what do you call this, right? This this thing, if I were to draw this, what do I call that, right? Because it's not a shape, shapes also need to be close, right? This would be a shape, this could be a shape, but shapes aren't like this, That that that's different, that's a figure. So, what do you call that? This would be called, I'm gonna draw it right there, Okay, nice big white there. That's called an open figure. Okay? So that might be important. Okay, later on. So let's go back here. We were talking about these polygons, right? What would we call them? I'm going to erase that work there. So, what do we call it? Right, so if I have this shape. Okay, what do I call it? It's a polygon. But what type of polygon? I can't just call it a polygon, right? And call it a day. Because what if somebody tells me, uh, make this polygon, right? Now you're wondering, but, but mister, there's like thousands of polygons. This is a polygon. This is a polygon. This is a polygon. This is a polygon. <laughs> that took a little while. But yeah, you get the point, right? These are all polygons. So What's a specific name? A specific name for this one would be a, called a triangle. Triangle. Okay, I wrote that a little slow because I was talking slow. And next shape would be this, right? It could be this. It could be this. Anything with four sides could be called a wad lateral okay and of course with the triangle this anything with each side so if you have this if you have that that's a if you make sure that there's only three sides and it's straight not like my extremely bad lines then yeah it, that would be a triangle so basically anything with three sides triangle Okay, so I'm going to write in bay here three. Okay, this one is four. Again, this is supposed to, let's go with the pattern here. Let's draw that part in blue, so make it look popped. Okay, and let's see, next you have, what do you call it, um, the uh, pentagons. Right, so I sometimes when you start off, you might confuse polygon with pentagon, right? But no, don't because it might create a little problem. So just practice, okay? Polygon, pentagon, polygon, pentagon, different things. Okay, that sentence did not make sense probably to any of you, but that's how it is. Pentagon, sorry about that noise. 
pentagon, right? And then, now we have our next problem. So, not next problem, <laughs> next shape, I suppose. So, you have pentagon, and this, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, this is a pentagon. So, this, yeah, so what I'm showing you right now, so I'm just going to write, this is what you would base, usually see when you would first see a model of a, if somebody tells you uh, there is a, uh, a triangle, first thing you would probably see or picture would be this, quadrilateral, probably you picture this, pentagon, you probably learn to picture this, okay, like a house shape. Because it has one, two, three, four, five sides, right? So uh, this one is um, could also be anything basically with five sides. So one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And stuff like that. Those are all polygons, and they also have a specific name of pentagon. Next, we have heptagon. Okay. Actually, no. First, let's do hexagon. Hexagon, I forgot. Hexagon. Okay, I'm going to do the rest in green because I'm tired of switching colors. Hexagon is a fix figure with six sides. So when you first picture this, you probably picture something like this. No, okay, that, that, that's bad. I'm, I'm the wrong person, honestly, to be modeling these shapes. But, hey, at least I can do it. At least I can do it. Something like that is what you probably picture. Like a stop sign. Except, well, not without those. So, this is how a stop sign would look. Right? That's a different shape. But, yeah. And, hexagon, it could be anything with six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. Those are all hexagons. Right? This one is... Five sides, this one is six sides. Next we have heptagon. This one, there's really not something you would picture because it's really not like a normal shape. It's just anything with seven sides. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's, that's actually, huh, now I'm thinking about it, I can start a new thing. When you picture heptagon, I want you to start picturing an arrow. Okay? Because, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I created a shape. Okay, <laughs> I'm drawing an arrow to the next one. So anything. Yeah, so stuff like that. Those are all heptagons, which is seven. And then there's the last one you're going to be learning about is octagon. Octagon. Okay, so this one would actually be our stop sign. Okay, so, okay, that's a bad stop sign, but basically, like, if you envision, like, stop, right, you know what, that shape that it's in, right, I'm sure you've seen it before, right, something like this, yeah, that, that's the shape, that right there, and I just circled it, which is probably inappropriate, because we're doing polygons, not shapes, so I'm just not, not going to circle it, I'm going to underline it, there you go, that's the shape you want. So octagon, it could be anything with eight sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's eight. Eight, four, plus four is eight. That's the last one we're going to be learning about. Now, before we move on to problem time, okay, one, I want you to memorize this page, and two, I want you, have you noticed a pattern with this? And I'm not saying three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, no. Have you noticed a pattern with the actual buildup? Of the letters, this is getting a little more into language artsy, but uh, let's, let's build it. So I'm assuming that you've checked, and if you haven't found it, I'll show you. And if you have found it, congratulations. Uh, and let's see if you actually found the right thing, or you found something else that I didn't see because you're smart. So I'm um, gonna go thread here. Try, quad, hent, hex, hept, oct. Okay. What does try mean? Okay, so if you ever see a tricycle, it's something with three wheels. Okay, this base word here, try, means three. Quad, okay, like quadruplets, like triplets, quadruplets, those are, I don't think quadruplets are rare, but that's the thing. Quad is four. Pent, 
uh, I don't think that there's like really a word with that, but the root actually means five. Hex means a six. Okay, and I'm not talking about like a magic wand spewing out little things. No, the hex, that's not like a Harry Potter. No, it's a, it means six. At least nice should probably see the pattern. Hept means seven. And oct means eight. Okay, now if you doubt me, one, you can see the try. Okay, and for your information, bi is, uh, also means two. Okay, like bicycle. Right, you've probably heard that term. Maybe tricycle you might not have heard of, but I'm sure you've heard of an octopus. Right, what's the distinguishing feature of an octopus? Okay, I'm not talking about like the suck things that come out of its legs or tentacles. I'm talking about the actual tentacles. Eight tentacles. So I'm right there. Okay, so that's a lot of problem time for this lesson takes too long and I keep rambling off. So there's two separations of problem time. Okay? And I want you to talk about it. So I want you to name these quadrilaterals. Okay, and I want you to tell me which one of the not quadrilaterals. I want you to name these polygons. I want you to tell me if these ones are polygons. So polygon. Okay, that's a question there. And uh, name is a question here. So I'm gonna give you to count of five to pause your video and give it a go yourself. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, so I'm assuming that you pause the video and give it a go yourself. And we're gonna check your answer. So this one would be triangle. Triangle. Okay, number one, how do I know? Well, one, this is what I would picture when I first do triangle. And two, one, two, three, three, triangle. There you go. Next, we have this shape. What is this? We're just going to count sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagon. Okay, so as you get farther in this, you, it will become easier to, like, remember the names of these. So, I see this one. This is one, two, three, four. Okay, that one is a uh, quadrilateral. And if you memorize these root words, quadrilateral, hexagon, like hex, quad, it'll become very, very easy. Because the moment you see four, you know, okay, that's quadrilateral, right? The moment you see ten, if you go deeper in, you'll know that's a de decagon, something like that. And let's see, you have uh, this one. One, two, three, four, five, pentagon. Pentagon. There you go. And now we're gonna do this second part of our problem time, polygon. Okay. And I want you to be very specific with this. Is this a polygon? Okay. Is this one a poly polygon? Okay. Answer to this one. No. No. Okay. Now why? So again, just imagine that fly. It can creep through that hole, and I will get your question mark. No. You know why? Because there's that one little gap there, okay? But, okay, I were to take this and fill it in, then it would be a quadrilateral. But I did not, so that was a, I did not mean to do that. Just, okay, you know what? Let's just keep that there, okay? Let's keep it there. Whatever. Next, we have this shape, okay? Is this one? Okay, this should be very easy to imagine, right? Definitely not because there's that huge hole there. No. What about this one? It's a shape, but it's not a polygon. Right? Why? Okay, why is the biggest question? Because it's curved. If it was like this, yes. But if it's like this, it's curved. Then no. And then the last, this one. It's closed, right? It's definitely closed. Oh, that was a bad outline of that. I'm not going to spend my time erasing because I'll probably erase everything, so that's okay. We'll stick with that. And because it's curved, I just see how it's curved there, right? It feels like this. Oh, it's not like this is the best replication I could make. No, that's bad. Yeah, there. But like that, then yeah, maybe it would be a polygon. But since it's not, that is no. So. This one is no, 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 and no. So it looks like we didn't get many yeses, but that's okay. 
So, I'm very, very much hoping that you got these right. And if not, keep practicing. You'll get it. And another thing I'm hoping is that you come out of this video, that you enjoyed it, and you come out a little smarter. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell. See you in the next one.